Where is the line between legitimately protecting your business's trade secrets and misusing a trade secret to conceal fraudulent activity? That question is at the heart of John Carreyrou's book, Bad Blood, Secrets and Lies in a Silicon Valley Startup. The book tells the story of the rise and fall of Theranos, a Silicon Valley unicorn, a privately held startup company once valued at over $1 billion. Theranos and its CEO raised millions of dollars from seasoned investors by claiming that the company was developing innovative blood testing technology. In reality, Theranos never got its proprietary technology off the ground, the company has shut down, and its CEO was indicted on fraud charges. So how could this happen? How could a company like Theranos fool so many people into investing in its business when it couldn't back up its claims. According to the book's author, one method Theranos used was vigorous protection of its trade secrets. In the book, the author describes how Theranos forced every single visitor to its office to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Also, when employees left the company, many were pressured to sign severance agreements that contained highly restrictive covenants limiting what former employees could say about the company. Despite these agreements, several former employees chose to speak out as whistleblowers. One former employee was Tyler Schultz, the grandson of former U.S. Secretary of State George Schultz. Tyler Schultz made the decision to come forward, despite pressure from his grandfather, who was serving on Theranos' board of directors. When Tyler was asked about his decision to come forward, he said, fraud is not a trade secret. I refuse to allow bullying, intimidation, and threat of legal action to take away my First Amendment right to speak out against wrongdoing. While it appears Theranos was misusing its restrictive covenants and claims of trade secrets to bully former employees, there are many legitimate reasons a business needs to have such protections in place. If your business involves valuable intellectual property or proprietary technology, you should consider whether you have appropriate agreements in place to protect those assets. And if you're wondering what is a trade secret, please visit our blogs at bfelaw.com. As always, Please let me know if I could help.